Libra, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empire Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. So this is an incredibly new, exciting time for you here, Libra, and one that is going to require you to really understand what what you're being called to see, okay? What you're being called to witness, what you're being called to, to, to upgrade, evolve. You know, it's not a time to dwell. It's not a time to um, revive the old. It is a time to be present in the now and to recognize really what you're being asked of from spirit. Sometimes when we put too much pressure as if we are the self, uh, like um, singular consciousness. It's just me and I must do this. It becomes very overwhelming. Um, so we just want you to always remember you're being guided by higher intelligence. So it's more of a mindset of what is source showing me today? Or what is my, what is higher intellig intelligence guiding me towards today? And then from that perspective, you kind of, we kind of release this ego right? Because ego is what keeps us in a, um, un, um, it, it gives us this inability to move forward because we feel like we're the ones that have to do it. And then of course our egos are, are very, uh, they dwell, you know, our egos dwell, our egos overthink things. And there's no need for you to overthink or dwell. There's just a, a need for you to just be very in tune with the energy and where it's flowing you. you are, we're going to start with your affirmation because it's a beautiful one. Every next level of my life will demand a different version of me. Every next level of my life will demand a different version of me. Your life right now demands the very best version of you. We have an offering for you here today, and this is the download that came through this morning. And that is that each frequency holds stored thoughts from the past. And that means that it doesn't matter what frequency you're, well, it does matter what frequency you're in, but what we mean is it doesn't matter what thoughts you're thinking. What matters is what frequency you're in. And I've noticed that I tend to worry a lot more, as we all do, when we are in a lower frequency. So when we have, and each frequency we're in has a different set of thoughts that we've practiced. And so I can tell that when I start to raise my frequency, my heart starts to open to concepts of reuniting with my family that I've separated from for many years now, for the last four years. And so um, I could tell that as I, I feel better, my heart opens up. And when my heart opens up, I allow more in. So it's a bang for a buck. It's a good deal, right? But at the end of the day, if we, we have to maintain that level of frequency, but we want you to just be observant. Ah, I'm, I'm feeling better because my thoughts are opening up. My heart's opening up to communication and to collaboration and so forth. And so we want you to observe what, uh, non-negotiable, what habits, excuse me, are you establishing and what, what do you do and what do you practice in your life that leaves you feeling in that frequency and include those in your non-negotiable habits for your day. And then from those, the awareness of this works for me, this keeps me in a high frequency, you can build off of that. You can grow that, but never change it. What keeps me in a high frequency is always waking up early and getting some movement in. Now, what kind of movement has differed in the last little while here, but um, I do realize that a little bit more high intensity it, uh, keeps my frequency nice and high. Um, so that is def definitely included. I have a a system that I am working out with spirit and it's going to be available for all of you in time. Uh, be patient with me, but I feel like things are going to be really flowing now that I'm in my own space, my own house. I really things are going to feel like things are going to be moving and grooving pretty quick here. So I got something good for coming for you guys, but right now we just want you to understand that the abundant universe is providing you are being guided by higher, higher intelligence. You are being shown the way remove the mindset of I must do this and instead include the truth, which is spirit and source and higher intelligence is showing me. What am I being shown? What am I being asked to see? 
look at life through that lens um, because what that will do is allow you to connect with uh, not crystals, maybe, maybe crystals, but connecting with crystals is more the um, metaphorical message of connecting with frequencies or energies that really resonate with you, that really make you feel, feel, feel good. It's all about feeling good. So initially here, we were seeing that maybe you were a little disconnected from your spiritual truth, from higher intelligence, maybe feeling a little bit pessimistic, maybe feeling a little bit limited in your belief system. And again, that's only because um, of a uh, low frequency. That's only because um, there were certain um, act uh, actions that were not being taken that you know you have to do to be in a high frequency. Sometimes we go through these breaks and these and these and these stalls of things that we were doing that made us feel really good, and then we take that break and we're like, well, maybe we want to do something else, but we really got to stay attuned and we really got to stay loyal to the things that we love. And it's not, and, and we really do love the things that keep us in a high frequency. We really, really, really do. I really love doing high intensity training and guys, my high intensity training is setting my timer for 12 minutes, choosing four exercises and doing it repetitively for 12 minutes. That's it. 12 minutes. That's it. Um, and so, um, I really love that. I don't always feel like I do, but I do. I really do. It makes me feel great. So we have to be loyal to what we love because it makes us feel our best. What that's going to do is it's going to bring you into um, um, alignment with your confidence, with your truth, with your inner strength. And it's good. It's not so much, remember, the things that you love, the things that make you feel in that high frequency. Remember this, please. It's not what you get from it. It's what you get out, what you get rid of. Okay. When I wake up and stick to the systems that work, my high intent, my higher intensity workouts, right. Waking up early and these sorts of things. It's what I get rid of. I get rid of limiting beliefs. I get rid of fear. I get rid of negativity. I get rid of dense vibes, right. And I'm high vibing, high vibing. We want to be high vibing all the way to the flow state. All right. And the thing is, is like, you know what that is for you. And so don't neglect those things build off of those things. Okay. I know that this works for me. Let me build off of this right now. We want you to erase intellect and logic. Okay. Which I know is going to be difficult for some of you, but we want you to let go of the intellect and logic. And we want you to tap into the energy that feels good, satisfying, uh, happy, rejuvenating, sexy. Oh, sexy. We want to feel sexy guys. If we're not feeling sexy, we're, what are we doing? What's the point, right? We want to feel sexy. We don't just want to do something because someone said it or it may work. None of that. Does it make me feel sexy? Does it make me feel satisfied? And do I feel in a good, 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 good mood, good attitude? That's what matters, right? Because at the end of the day, that's going to be what you want to gauge your, your choices off of that. Cause that way you can, you can be like, does this make me feel sexy? Well, you know, this is what was said. Well, forget what was said. Forget about the conditioning. Forget about the programming. None of that makes sense for you. What makes sense for you is going to be what makes you feel good and sexy. Does that make sense? That's what you want to really value your decision making on is satisfaction and feeling good about yourself. All right. You're being guided into this beautiful new opportunity. And again, just as I am with kind of this, I have this sort of like membership, coaching, mentorship, vibe going on. And it's going to be about connection, complete connection to the mind, body, soul. And it's going to be this plethora of information. Um, and it's going to be incredible and I feel it and it's all coming together now. And so this is going to be the same thing that you're guided towards here with this King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, just full confidence with towards this new endeavor. Um, it's going to be that King of Pentacles, it's ultimate abundance. So it's going to be that thing that just leaves you feeling absolutely successful and absolutely incredible. Um, and again, this is not a time for logic. I, intellectually only, I only use my intellect when it comes to, um, like, um, putting the pieces, uh, together, right. In, in terms of like when spirit shows me something of what I am, I'm looking to create. It's like it, my emotional place might be like, Oh, maybe we should try this. But my, that's when my intellect comes in and says, we've tried that before and it didn't work. Let's stick to the system. That's when my intellect comes in. But usually it's just a feeling state. I'm letting spirit guide me. And then once spirit has, and my soul, my heart has given me the clues, the guidance, then intellect will come in. But you don't want to use intellect to try to control your life. You don't want to do that. You want to allow the energy to flow, flow through you and guide you. And then intellectually after that, you put the two cents on it, right? So heart first and then intellect, right? It's the heart and the mind must be in coherence, but the heart always comes first. The soul always must speak first, 
Make sure now it is a time more than ever to keep yourself nice and connected with the earth, Libra, nice and connected. And that means that you're going to want to be out, spend time out in nature. I have to go for a nice walk in the afternoon time. Um, otherwise, I it, it recalibrates me. It allows me to spend that time with myself to be able to connect to my soul. Um, I try to uh, be in a calm state. So maybe listening to some nice peaceful music or maybe... Um, you know, something, a podcast of some kind, but I really just try to keep it a time where I connect with myself, being very present in the moment that allows us to just kind of cleanse our energy. So just make sure that you are practicing that, having a daily practice or a, uh, this, the intention of it, or at least have it every other day, but the intention of getting out in nature to recalibrate and just reconnect and just instill that everything is, is, is going according to plan and you're just kind of uh, speaking with your higher intelligence system and, and, and your guides and so forth. Your universe message is pucker up buttercup. Universe says being fair and reasonable will earn you respect and admiration, but being genuinely kind will make you a total love magnet. Go for love magnet, the universe. And this is the God's honest right here, right? Being fair and reasonable will earn you respect and admiration. But kindness, kindness and love and being genuine, that is what opens our hearts fully to receiving the next level of whatever it is that we desire. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.